Do you ever stop to wonder what's really shaping your life? You set goals, make decisions, and try to steer your life in the right direction, but somehow, something feels off, like there's an invisible force pulling the strings. Think of your mind as an iceberg. On the surface, you've got your conscious mind. It's small but powerful, directing your day-to-day -day actions, solving problems, and planning for the future. You're aware of it because it's where you live most of the time, making choices, taking actions, and setting intentions. But below the surface is the real force, the subconscious. It's vast, deep, and far more influential than we realize. This is where your beliefs, emotions, and habits live. The parts of you that have been shaped by past experiences, even from childhood. It's like an autopilot, silently guiding your decisions, whether you like it or not. So what happens when your conscious and subconscious minds are out of sync? Imagine driving a car with the handbrake on. Your conscious mind is pushing forward. You want to succeed, grow, and change. But your subconscious is holding you back, stuck in old patterns, fears, or beliefs that no longer serve you. You want to get fit. But deep down, you believe it's too hard, so you keep sabotaging yourself with bad habits. You aim for success, but your subconscious whispers, you're not worthy. The result? You keep spinning in circles, feeling stuck. But what if I told you that there's a way to bring these two forces, your conscious and subconscious, into alignment? Imagine what your life would look like if every action you took, every decision you made, was fully backed by both your conscious intentions and your subconscious programming. When these two minds align, the struggle stops. Procrastination fades, self-sabotage disappears, and life flows. The conscious mind versus the subconscious mind. Let's break it down. Your conscious mind is like a spotlight, focused, direct, and deliberate. It's responsible for critical thinking, planning, and decision-making. It's where you set goals and choose your direction. But here's the thing. It only handles what's in front of you in the present. It's reactive, based on what's happening right now. On the other hand, your subconscious mind is like the ocean, vast, powerful, and constantly moving beneath the surface. It holds every experience you've ever had, every belief you've ever formed, and every habit you've ever developed. It doesn't reason or argue. It just does. And it's responsible for around 90% of your thoughts and actions operating automatically based on your past. This is where things get tricky. You see, your subconscious doesn't care whether a belief or habit is helpful or harmful. It just sticks to what it knows. So if you've been telling yourself for years that you're not good enough, or that success is for other people, guess what? That belief is running in the background, influencing every decision, even if you consciously want something different. Misalignment. The Signs. So how do you know if your conscious and subconscious are out of alignment? Here are four key signs. 1. Procrastination. You set an intention, like starting a new project or working on a goal, but keep putting it off. That's your subconscious avoiding discomfort or fear of failure. 2. Self-sabotage. You make progress toward a goal, but somehow you always manage to derail yourself. You miss deadlines, avoid opportunities, or create excuses. 3. Inconsistent behavior. You start the day with motivation, but fall off track by the afternoon. One moment you're driven, the next you're distracted. 4. Negative emotions. You feel anxious, overwhelmed, or restless, even when things seem to be going well. This is often a sign that your conscious desires conflict with your subconscious fears. But don't worry, these signs aren't failures, they're signals. They're clues that it's time to dig deeper and align what you truly want with the beliefs you carry within. How to align your conscious and subconscious minds. This alignment is not some magic trick, it's a practice, a daily commitment to reshaping how your mind operates at its core. Let me share how you can start. Positive affirmations. The subconscious is like a sponge. It absorbs whatever it's repeatedly told. By using affirmations, you can rewire limiting beliefs and plant new empowering ones. 
repeating statements like, I am capable of success, or I deserve abundance, helps reshape the subconscious to align with your goals. Visualization. This technique taps into the emotional side of the subconscious. When you vividly imagine your goals and feel the emotions of achieving them, you create a new reality in your subconscious mind. This emotional link creates alignment because your mind starts believing that these new outcomes are possible and natural. Mindfulness and Meditation When you meditate, you quiet the noise of the conscious mind and access the deeper levels of your subconscious. Over time, this practice helps bring both minds into harmony, creating a state of balance and clarity. Journaling Writing down your thoughts and emotions allows you to observe subconscious patterns that may be holding you back. Journaling bridges the gap between your conscious awareness and the hidden parts of your mind, helping you gain clarity and release limiting beliefs. The Power of Repetition Here's the key. Repetition The subconscious doesn't change overnight. It responds to consistency. Just like learning a new skill, Aligning your mind requires practice. Every time you affirm your goals, visualize your success, or meditate, you're reinforcing a new pattern in your subconscious. Over time, these new patterns start to stick. Your subconscious begins to operate in line with your conscious desires, guiding you toward the outcomes you want, almost effortlessly. Healing Trauma and Limiting Beliefs One of the biggest obstacles to alignment is unresolved trauma or deeply rooted limiting beliefs. These are the scars left by past experiences, times when you were hurt, failed, or were told you weren't good enough. They live in your subconscious and silently guide your actions. Healing these wounds requires more than just willpower. It's about emotional release and reprogramming. Techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy or emotional release techniques can help shift these patterns, allowing you to reframe negative beliefs into empowering ones. It takes time, but the result is freedom, a clear path where your mind no longer holds you back. Small wins lead to big changes. As you walk this path of transformation, celebrate the small victories. Notice when you catch yourself avoiding a bad habit or when you feel more confident about a challenge. These moments, while small, are signs that the alignment process is working. Change comes gradually, and patience is essential. The subconscious resists sudden shifts because it's designed to protect you from uncertainty. But with consistency and repetition, you'll see that the change you seek is not only possible, it's inevitable. The Journey to Full Alignment Achieving alignment between your conscious and subconscious minds isn't about forcing yourself to be perfect. It's about learning to work with the deeper parts of who you are and harnessing their power to live a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and aligned with your core desires. When your conscious mind and subconscious mind come together, you're no longer swimming against the current. You're flowing with it. And that flow? That's where real transformation happens. So ask yourself, am I ready to align the two most powerful forces within me? Thank you for joining me on this journey. If this message resonated with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's spread the power of true alignment, because the world needs more of us living in harmony with our full potential.